Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about blonde wigs, in particular Ellen Villa blondes. Now this is not wig review. I have already reviewed these wigs. If I have reviewed the wig I show you and the color I show you, I will link it in the drop down box below this video. So I'm not going to go into any great detail on any of these wigs other than the color. If you want to see cap construction, outdoor lighting, all those things, you'll need to see the full review. Again, check the drop down box. All the wigs I'm going to show you today are from Wig Studio One. I either purchased them with my own funds or they were sent to me for previous review. Okay, let's get started and talk about some Ellen Villa blondes. Let's talk about some blondes from Ellen Villa. Now, I know from time to time I'll get questions. There is some confusion across collections at times. Now, for example, I have on Turn, and the color is Sandy Blonde Rooted, one of my favorite colors. Now, the color code 162225. This is from the Changes collection. I'm also going to show you Talent Mono in Sandy Blonde Rooted, and it's from the Hair Power collection. 22-16-25. Same color codes, but they're in different order. This one's 16-22-25. The one I'm going to show you, Talent Mono, is 22-16-25. So, even though the name is the same, and the color codes are the same, they are in different order, meaning they are applied to the wig differently. So you may get this wig and you love Sandy Blonde Rooted. And then you get Talent Mono and you say, well, it's Sandy Blonde Rooted, but it's different. Yes, the, the colors are going to be applied to that style in a different order. So keep that in mind with Ellen Villa. I know there has been a lot of discussion about that, and I was confused about it in the beginning, too, because, like I said, I love Sandy Blonde Rooted, but I would get it in another style, and it would look different, and then I came to understand why. They do it according to the style itself and how the colors are placed on that style. So let's start off with, like I said, Ellen Villa Turn. This is from the Changes Collection. This is Sandy Blonde Rooted. 16, 22, 25. Now, I'm going to tell you how Ellen Villa describes their color, and then we'll talk about it. Medium Honey Blonde, and then it has this light ash blonde and lightest, lightest reddish brown blended with a dark root. I think that is a really good color description. There is some light reddish brown running through this wig. The darker root, now I believe Ellen Villa does their rooting really well. It's not stark, it's not overdone. Let you have a look at that hairline. And then it does have honey blonde and ash blonde. So that is a really nice color description for turn sandy blonde rooted. Okay, this is talent mono. Now, this one is also sandy blonde rooted 22 16 25. And they're describing this one as light ash brown, medium honey blonde, and blended with a darker root. Now, as you can tell, I feel like this. Now, this is a straight style, and that was a curly style, so they're going to look different. But you can see the difference. In my opinion, I can see how those two colors are different. Okay, this is Leah. Now, there is a new wig out, Leah 2. This is not, this is the original Leah, but there is the Leah 2 out that I believe has a full lace front. I have not seen it. I do not have it. But this is the original, the original one. This is Sahara Beige Rooted, 26, 20, 25. Sahara Beige Rooted. This is a fun style, just choppy, easy to wear, light golden blonde. It has light strawberry blonde running through on a darker root. So this is a very gold color, a lot of gold in here, with, like I said, the light strawberry blonde running through on the darker root. And this one is part of the Changes collection as well. All right, this is Dance, and the color is Candy Blonde Tip. It's part of the Perushi collection. The color code is 101-2760. So by that color code, we know there's going to be Pearl Platinum Blonde going all through here, pure white, light reddish brown. There's definitely some light reddish brown running through here. 
and that 60 is the pure white and the 101 of course is a pearl platinum so a fun blonde shade with a little more of a dark root and with that lightest lightest red brown okay this is rule it's part of the elements collection sandy blonde toned 2614 again i like these just straight bob styles light golden blonde and medium ash blonde there is not a ton of ash in this color to me it's a it is a golden color in my opinion with the light golden blonde running through here. Like I said, I don't feel like this is very ashy. That's just my opinion. I feel like it's more on the gold side, but this is a pretty color, sandy blonde toned. I think this is the only one I have in this shade. I don't believe I have any other of um, Ellen Villa styles in this color, but I think it's pretty if you like that kind of golden and there you'll see these blonde highlights running through it again i will put a in the drop down box below a link to my full video this is pomante super it's part of the modics collection i love the modics collection i think they have beautiful lace fronts you know that collection they took elements from all of these other collections and put it into the modics collection so i have quite a few of these wigs and i really enjoy them i think the fibers are so soft nice lace fronts really i i think a nice collection pomante super champagne shaded 25 26 23 light honey blonde medium honey blonde platinum blonde all blended on a darker root so it is all of these beautiful blonde shades i like this beige blonde in there medium honey blonde and then a little bit of platinum running through here you can see those platinum tips really super sleek sleek style low density style if you're looking for something like that you might check out Pramanta super okay one of my all-time favorite pixies ellen villa coco part of the hair power collection champagne rooted 22 26 14 light beige blonde medium honey blonde platinum blonde on a darker root i like the rooting on here again you can see it's really really well done i've had cocoa and i don't know how many how many different colors but it is just out of the box spike it up have fun again light beige blonde it does have medium honey blonde running through here and platinum so it's a beautiful and then on a little darker root really the rooting is very well done on this one another fun short style rika part of the modix collection in ivory blonde shaded Now this color is 101 1460 pearl platinum, dark ash blonde, silver white, blended with darker roots. I love the white in this, the 60, 101 1460. I also have this in a red and it's beautiful in a red. I want to call this one to your attention. This runs very, very large on me. This will work. This will definitely stretch to an average large. This is very big on me. I have a 21 and a quarter inch head circumference and I have taken the uh, adjusters all the way in and it's still roomy. So just to let you know on this one. Pearl Platinum dark ash blonde, silver white, blended with darker roots. Really pretty. Rika Ivory Blonde Shaded. So this is Perla, part of the Modix collection. Now this color, it's beige pastel shaded, 101-2760. I also want to uh, just call to your attention that this was huge on me. Really, really large on me. Now, notice how white the tips of this are. This is at 101 2760 Pearl Platinum Blonde, light reddish brown, 
and pure white on light roots very the rooting is very pretty on this but the white on this one as you can see is concentrated on the tips of this wig 101 27 60 this is Perla beige pastel shaded okay so the last one we're going to look at is Nerano from the Modix collection Sahara beige shaded 26 14 19 I have this one in several colors too. I love a straight low density bob. Okay, medium golden blonde, light strawberry blonde, light ash blonde blended with a dark root. Now that is perfect. Lots of highlighting running through here. Very gold, lots of gold here. A little bit of ash, not a huge amount, but and then this highlighting around the face. So this is 26, 14, 19, Nerano Sahara Beige Shaded. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and a quick look at a lot of different Ellen Villa Blondes. I hope that you understand them a little more, how they work between collections and styles. And I know, it, like I said, it can be a little confusion, but once you get the hang of it, you kind of see how they change it from collection to collection. My advice to you would be, if you are looking between collections and you say, oh, I want this color, and it's on another style in a different collection, be sure to look at as many reviews as you can from your favorite reviewer. See if they reviewed the color that you're looking to get and compare it to the one you have already because there will be some differences there. Thank you again for joining me. Please like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.